a new exhibit. Um, we uh, uh, purchased it, uh, well, our donor purchased it for us three years ago, and we built this building to essentially house it. And so the inside of the office is identical to what you would have seen uh, when Frank Lloyd Wright was working um, in the decade or so that he spent in San Francisco until he passed away. Um, the, the ceilings, the dimensions are accurate to a sixteenth of the inch mm -hmm. and everything inside, um, except for a couple of these uh, photographs out at the very front, were all in the office at the time. Oh. Wright and his partner Aaron Green um, worked there and um, uh, the office finally closed um, in I believe it was 1988. It was disassembled. It was purchased by a private person, um, later lent to Carnegie Mellon. They had it for about a decade, and uh, then it's been out of circulation for the last 15 years. What was interesting was, when it was at Carnegie Mellon, uh, the windows that you'll see, people looked in but never walked through. So this is really the first time the public um, has ever been able to walk through this office. Anybody walking through in the 50s would have been a client of, of Wright's or Aaron Green's. So uh, this is the first time. So we're really excited. We're getting a lot of good feedback from the uh, uh, people that follow Frank Lloyd Wright. And uh, they're very excited about coming to Erie and walking in the footsteps. It's like, so it's like a pilgrimage for them. Yes. <laughs> Original door in his favorite color, Cherokee red. Um, we have two of these tiles, which are his signature on his uh, uh, on his major works, um, red ceramic tile with FLLW um, uh, on it. So this is the reception area. And here on the shelf, we have uh, Wright's original drawing of the Butterfly Bridge. The, the bridge was featured the model of the bridge is featured in the movie Die Hard. Yeah. So there's a, there's a photograph of the bridge with all the bad guys standing around. I do remember that scene. We have the reception area. We have the original stools, you know, that people would wait on, you know, the rather austere right style stools. The urn that's up on top or is, uh, is original to the office. And then for uh, walking in here, we have the drafting room. And for full effect, if you look out here, this is the scene that they would have looked at <laughs> out of their second floor window. We, we had photographs done and a, um, a film put on our windows so that you're looking out at what they would have, have seen. Um, the drafting room is not quite finished yet. Uh, we have uh, plans for the office um, on the drafting tables. We, there's, there'll be another uh, set of plans for one of the houses that uh, Wright built in the San Francisco area and a model of that, which we will add to uh, as we're running up to this last month. Now, are, the, are these original plans that he actually drew? Or? Uh, yes, these, these are copies of the original plans. Mm, okay. um, and the, the original that he has uh, um, has um, his handwritten notes all over it, which we have a photograph of before you come in. One more feature in, in this room, which uh, we will be putting up, is they have, they have a pegboard on that back wall right. full of photographs and drawings and things like that. So as we finish this, um, the structure is completely done. If you look up, the ceiling is exactly the way it was, but some of the items need to be filled in, which we're doing. And uh, this, this louvered look and the 120 degree angle rather than the 90 degree angle with these walls, all very typical of Wright's uh, style. Uh, we have substituted modern LED bulbs but uh, this is actually the, the exact, you know, lighting in the same spot and same sockets that, uh, that Ray had in this office in the 50s. 
And then we come into Wright's personal office. And you see a, a, a different intimacy here with the low ceiling. Absolutely. And the, and the glass which diffuses the light through. Uh, he was a, a big aficionado of Asian art. This, uh, this screen was, uh, Japanese screen was right there in the original office in that uh, uh, drum-like piece. Uh, these seats are original to the office. We have his chair, which we'll go back in the, in the back corner, we haven't put in yet. But um, uh, this even you know, uh, covered his desk, and you can even see coffee stains on the, um, <laughs> on the covering. <Yeah. laughs> he had a, uh, uh, a Taliesin in Wisconsin was his home and his main studio. And then in the late 30s, he went out to Scottsdale, Arizona, and created Taliesin West. And so Taliesin and Taliesin West are still owned by the foundation and are, are active uh, sites. But, um, you know, so he got into kind of the Southwest look too a little bit when he was, uh, when he was out in Arizona for 20 some years. So we're very excited about this. Um, again, first time anybody's ever been able to step foot inside this office um, uh, since the 50s. And um, except for the architects and their um, their clients, so we're we're very proud that we we're able to bring it uh, here to Erie, and hope that it will be a linchpin of a regional trail.